Can you remove sadness from your life? A life is full of intermixture of happiness and sadness. Why can't we choose happiness instead of sadness? Once Carl Jung told, even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness and the word happy would not lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better to take things as they come along with patience and equanimity. Sadness is pervasive feeling. It is almost as if you are in dark tunnel with no lights. Unfortunately, it is not simple to remove sadness. But never be afraid of sadness, my dear friends. Observe it as third party. We can replace the neurons of sadness with amazing happiness neurons with the excellent advices from eminent personalities. In earlier days, I was reading about Charlie Chaplin when her mother failed to perform the song which she used to sing. He spontaneously replaced the song at the age of five. Once Charlie Chaplin represented same joke thrice, but at the third time, when nobody laughed, he told that if you cannot laugh on the same joke, how can you be repeatedly in sadness over the same matter? There are certain scientific ways to remove sadness. There was a study I have written in my book. Eminent psychologist Mandy Plopler gave few points. I will only name the points you can read in the book. Number one, practice mindfulness. Number two, listen upbeat music. Number three, use touch. Number four, use omega fatty acid in your diet. Number five, stop negative self-talk. Number six, bide your time. Number seven, distract yourself. Number eight, use more light. Number nine, use cognitive therapy. Number 10, write in a journal. Number 11, connect with friends. Number 12, get enough sleep. Number 13, forgive others. Number 14, exercise. And last, number 15, don't give up. You can elaborately read these topics and get insight about the sadness and its removal. I hope this topic will remove your sadness and will make you smile. God bless you. Cheers and have a nice time.